Hey peeps, I'm Wild Firefly, and I am so excited to hang out with you guys today while we play another episode of um, Subnautica. Before we jump in, um, I just want to remind you guys, if you enjoy hanging out with me at any point in time today, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. It really helps the channel out and it helps me know which series you guys are enjoying the most. So when we left off, we were working on building the prawn suit. Um, I was just putting away the extra titanium we had grabbed. So I'm going to just run up here and see if we can't... Okay, so I'm not really sure why that does that. So give me just a second because I'm going to look something up. All right, I'm back guys. I'm not really sure what's going on. It's almost as if I need to have the camera um, Let's try This um, The wiki wasn't very specific. I'm not sure why it only offers certain things at certain times And if that's the case, we may pause this. Okay, so those stalkers will grab the camera. Which could be a good way to get teeth, I suppose. But there's a much easier way to get teeth. Okay, so I'm going to tuck this camera away over here. I don't really think this makes a difference on the range. Oop. But, oh, maybe it does. There we go. Oh, that's what we needed. Okay. Now I got to go eat something, which in real life I really need to do. It's, uh... First thing in the morning for me, I mean, it's a little late, it's almost 10 o'clock, but um, considering I go to bed fairly late because I get off work uh, at 8 o'clock and then have a 35-minute uh, drive home and then, you know, I have to eat dinner and so by the time I'm done with, like, night stuff, it's pretty late. And then, of course, you know, I want a little bit of time to relax. So that's good enough. I'll eat more before we leave. Um, see, look at how much, you guys, this is so much easier for stalker teeth. We're just gonna fight him everywhere now. Oh, we also need, we need to get a moon pool. So I have a plan for today to go check out at least one, um, wreck. I know that there's a wreck in the sea traders. Oh, I should have brought my should have brought my other vehicle. I'm gonna grab that while we're here because the sea the teeth aren't gonna take up that much room. Um, 
Um, and we can always use extra. Always, always, always can use extra stuff. All right, where? I'm very confused. Uh, is it down in this hole? Okay, hold on. Let's go get some oxygen. We don't want that happening. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and go over to the sea traders, partially because one of the blueprints I really want to get as soon as possible is the nuclear reactor. So we can upgrade our power system so we don't have to worry about our power as much. Because... The nuclear rods last for forever, so. Okay, not down here. I'm surprised there aren't more of them. Okay, there's gotta be a cave. Howie. Okay, so our cave down here. Holy moly, I'm very confused. Oh wait, is it right here? No. All right, hold on. We're gonna go get the sea moth. I may make one more range upgrade instead of the speed one because I don't think that the speed is quite as important. There's a reef back on our house. Okay. This might be a little bit easier. So we go straight towards it. Let's go. You know what we could do? Come bite, come bite me. Let's see if we can make more soccer teeth. Since I can't seem to find where the heck that how to get to that. It might... I'm kind of wondering if it's under the world. There might be a little bit of a bug. Yeah, I think that's it. That there's a little bit of a bug. I'm also surprised that there's not more stalker teeth. So I'm going to go check our power stitch. What is that? Oh, our things are all messed up. Bioreactor bag. We'll take the extra stuff. Okay, you know what I think we're going to do? We're going to put a pause on building the prawn suit. And I am going to focus. Instead on, we're going to go get um, some blueprints. Because I think part of the problem is our power. Or lack of power. Or lack of sustainable power. I mean, the bioreactor is pretty good, but um, we're going to need a nuclear reactor. Uh, and I'll still keep the bioreactor because we only have power. Alright. I'm a little... Okay, hold on. Do we have magnetite? Okay, it's pointed out more than one now. Oh, there we go. Well, we're going to let that keep going. We'll come. We'll get stalker teeth when we come back. In the meantime, oh, I need a I need a thing to store. 
Uh, nope. Nope. I know what we're gonna do. I know what we're gonna do. Man, ten minutes in the episode and nothing has been accomplished. I hate episodes like that. It drives me crazy. Um, let me know in the comments if that bugs you too. Like, if you're like, yeah, that's the worst. Uh, that's... Okay, hold on. Things are a mess. Okay, so what we're gonna do... Oh, wow. Well, I mean, we don't have to have it perfectly lined up. And then we'll put all of the ingredients that we're saving in there. I don't know what we're doing with the copper ore. So we're gonna just tuck that away. I'm gonna tuck all of the titanium away. Look at that. Look at our store of titanium. That's why I just grab stuff while we're doing things. Especially that, because our store of titanium slowly gets back Ooh, wrong way. All right, much better. Um, there we go, we'll take that. And I'm just gonna do that. Even though I really wanna save those. For Well, this is gonna be a longer trip though. Ah, battery. All right, hold on. Do we have the battery charger? Oh no, that's the other thing we need to get. And the modification station and the moon pool. This is not frustrating at all. Okay, so is there another empty battery? And then we need silicone. We're probably not gonna go anywhere this episode. It's taking me so long to get things made. I gotta separate these guys. Oh no, 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 silicone we need. Ah, uh, ah, uh, I think we need two. If not, I'll just make an extra piece of silicone. Not a big deal. Okay. Yeah, we just needed one. Again, not a big deal. We'll just make an extra one. We'll make an extra fiber mesh. I'm sure we can use it at some point. If for nothing else, we can make a... Oh, I didn't know that makes two. All right, now let's make a power cell. And we should probably grab an extra battery to bring with us. And now we are on our way. Finally. I guess we wouldn't be quite 10 minutes. Okay, so we're going to go west. Slightly northwest. Because that's the way to the sea, tra sea traders. And hopefully we can get the nuclear reactor. And then we also... Um, at some point need to look for the battery charger. Um, I don't really know, like I know different areas that most likely have wrecks. I don't know where it's at in the sea traders. So it might take us a minute to find it, which is fine. Um, also, sorry if my voice sounds a little off today. Uh, my sinuses are kind of thrown fits again, but I don't want to use my spray until after I get a chance to eat because it runs down the back of my throat and tastes really nasty and makes it very difficult for me to enjoy what is that to enjoy oh oh this is gonna be a problem we need to find a moon pool first so we're not gonna be able to go to the sea traders dang it well no uh, Okay, we're gonna scan this. It's clearly alien. And then there might be a wreck near here. 
Where's my ship? Oh, I was like really scared it hit. I wasn't paying attention. I'm so used to my other playthrough where I have a dive depth of 900 meters on this thing. Um, all right, we're gonna look for other wrecks that are higher depths. Higher depths? Is that how you would say that? Shallower depth. I feel like that is a more... Uh, I'm super frustrated right now. I feel like we're not accomplishing anything, which... Oh, there's a wreck. Okay. There we go. Something to accomplish. I don't believe this is one we've been at. We can get fairly close... And I see, oh yeah, that's pretty close. I see things we need. Oh look, and a data thing. Yes! Oh my god, guys, we need that. Now we also need a moon pool. Because we can't build that anywhere but the moon pool. But, that's just a matter of time. We'll find it. We will. Is there a way into that? Oh, I see where it is. Ah, oh, there's the way in. Okay. Oop. Oh my god. Um, oh, I can't go any lower than that. Is he coming this way? Turn your light off, genius. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. He doesn't seem interested in us. Yet. But he is getting a little close. Oh no, he's going away. Okay, I think if we leave the sea moth off like that, I really hope, because I don't want to lose the sea moth again. But I really need to get in here. Uh, come on, we got this, guys. Anything I can scan? Oh no, oh no, I think our thing's getting attacked. Uh, I don't need those. I'm gonna pick them up anyway. Okay, we got it. Oh gosh, where's the way out? Okay, calm down. In this situation, always calm down. Calmly look for the exit, because if you don't do it calmly... Oh, thank God. We're good. Well, I still should come up and get air. Welcome aboard. Oh, this is stressful. This is... Okay. Oh, whoops. What did I do? How do I get rid of that? Oh, there we go. I hit F1 on accident. Okay. We got this, guys. Oh, I got this, babe. I don't know. That that song didn't really work in that situation, but it was the only one I could think of. Okay. Okay. Got it. Got it. Got it. Oh, my God. That's terrible. I don't like not being able to see what he's doing. Okay, we got got all that. We're gonna need our laser cutter. Whoop. Oh, I don't like this at all. I don't like this. Um, I don't know if we're gonna have time to read stuff today because we have the issue of the Leviathan sitting out there. And I don't wanna risk getting caught by it. Oh, I'm very hungry. I gotta have to take a break after this. Oh, look at that. Okay, stuff. Ooh, the chic plant pot. Well, we really, really needed that. Oh, God, we gotta get going. Oh, yeah, we need that coffee vending machine. Oh, God. I'm gonna die. Okay, stay calm. Go through. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh no, and our sea moth is 
Oh, that was like the worst time to die. That was my own fault too. That I should have. Uh, to say I was an idiot would be a, a little bit of an understatement. Um. Okay, only 800 meters. We have to go past that Leviathan. Oh, guys, I am dum da dum dum dum. That was a really bad. That was a really bad life choice, but it's okay. We got this. The Leviathan had no interest in our Seamoth at that point. And it's really not going to take us more than like 30 seconds to get back there. Maybe maybe 60 seconds. Uh, we got time. We got time. Let's try to stay above 100 meters as long as we can. So we don't get a decreased oxygen efficiency. Oh man, I wish you guys got to see what happened to me yesterday when I was playing my playthrough, my personal playthrough. It was pretty epic. I, my Seamoth was destroyed at like 800 meters down and I, and I was in a cave and I still made it to the surface just using my little, uh, this little thing, Sea Glide. Okay. All right. So far, everything's copacetic. All right, we're gonna make it. The question is, is this gonna attract the attention? Okay, let's just, oh God. I, oh God, no, no, don't do that. Get in the sea moth and run. Run home. Oh my gosh, okay. Um, there's something else that we need to do <laughs> before we come back to looking for wrecks that I forgot to do um, that we will do next episode. In the meantime, we're going to get the heck out of Dodge and then we should have a little bit of time to, to read or and or listen to a couple episodes. Man, that's stressful. I, I did not like that. I think we probably missed something in there. Um, so we'll have to go back at some point. Okay. I think we're far enough away. Oh god. I don't know. I'm really nervous. I'm really, really nervous. I don't I don't I don't like this. Alright, I'm probably gonna tear this stuff apart, so I'm gonna just stop here and I'm going to read to you guys. Okay, so blueprints, equipment, propulsion cannon. The propulsion cannon allow tech, allows technicians to manipulate gravitational forces at ranges of up to 20 meters. It is commonly used in construction and mining to move materials. Pull the trigger once to lock onto and attract a single targeted object weighing less than 25 kilograms. The object can now be safely retrieved from the gravitational beam. Alternately, or alternatively, pull the trigger a second time to propel the object at a speed away from the device. Not recommended use for use on organic subjects. The prop cannon. Some species are telekinetic. For everyone else, there's Al Altera. The reinforced dive suit. Oh, we didn't make, did we make this? I don't think we did. This suit is reinforced with synthetic fibers to reduce incoming physical and thermal damage. Shock absorption reduces physical impact velocity by approximately 50%. Rated for temperatures up to 70 degrees. Disclaimer, you are not invulnerable when wearing this suit. The reinforced dive suit. Why take chances when you can take Altera? That's actually pretty clever. Time capsule. These sturdy containers are designed to store written and photographic evidence for later retrieval. In addition to a number of small items, in addition to a number of small items, time capsules, capsules are often fabricated by maroon survivors seeking either to aid those who find themselves in the same predicament in the future or to leave evidence of their plight which may be found long after their bodies have disintegrated. Most emergency escape vehicles are equipped with a time capsule by default, usually found in the cockpit, and be jettisoned on takeoff. Altera requests time capsules be stocked with tools and resources which will aid those who may discover them in the future. And habitat installation, moon pool. <gasps> We don't have the... No, okay. I'm like, we, we, we don't have the moon pool yet. 
The moon pool is an essential module for long-term exploration. Its primary function is a dry dock for small vehicles such as the Seamoth and Prawn Suit. The large central chamber contains a pressurized pool which provides ready access to the surrounding waters and comes as standard with equipment for raising and recharging a vehicle. When outfitted with a vehicle modification station, the moon pool can be used to build and equip vehicle upgrades. Uh, and I don't think we need to read the ratings, but I do need to rather quickly. Did it not take any? Oh, it didn't take any damage. Okay, I'm okay with that. All right, peeps, um, I think I'm going to end the episode here. I just want to start by saying thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. It really helps the channel out. It helps me know which series you guys are enjoying the most. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. Aha, I knew there was something else in here. Um, don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you guys next time on Subnautica. Bye.